Hello, hello everyone. This is Rick Prasik, Black Fish Fanatic. Welcome to my tiny ranch. Uh, today, a really big, big, big bunny streamer pattern that I just absolutely love for a bull trout. Um, and uh, I've caught some pike on it as well. Um, and smaller walleye. It's much smaller though. Um, this pattern is, is a big pattern. It's one I like using in big water uh, where there's a uh, bull trout in. Like I wouldn't fish this in a smaller river like um, in BC, the Skagit, that kind of thing. It's just, it's too massive for it. Um, but the bigger, bigger water, just what I use. So it's a bit of a longer tie, so let's get going. Uh, this is a, just so you guys can see. Oh, wait, there we go. It's hard for you to, to for me to read that on there. Uh, it's an Arex TP615 Trout Predator Streamer. My my screen is always I'm always saying ah oh, it's so bright it's so bright and then I look at the video and it's not actually bright it's the uh, screen that makes it look bright so um, yeah so that's what that is here um, I'll explain the materials as I go just because there is quite a few of them um, if you want to make it heavy add some flat uh, some sticky back flat lead which I do quite often um, I have a, a tagging system so I know whether they've got weight on them and how much weight so if it's got no weight there's no no extra color put onto the uh onto the bead if it's got weight um i'll put a uh like one layer i'll put a orange dot two layers i'll put a green dot and i use that i use like um the uh golf ambulance green and ambulance orange just to put a dot on the uh on the eye um going to be using a painted bead not a big biggest fan of these ones here, but that's all I have um, with me. Normally, I, I I use ones that are that I add an eye to one of the plastic eyes, but uh, this one I don't have any, so these will do. I like them red though, red the eye. I like the eye red, so in this case, it's just a painted red painted eye. Now I'm going to come back. I want to leave lots of room in the front for. Um, material because there's going to be a let's call it a collar but it's not you'll see really tight really tight I'm using the Semperfly Nano Silk here under 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 and then over 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 and then under 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 I see that thing nothing worse than being out on the water and these stupid things spin on you so make sure it's tied in well simple so there's my lead just going to give this a coating now i'm going to take a piece of white rabbit zonker and i want it fairly long um actually i'm gonna forget one step i'm gonna put on uh, i should have done it first but it's okay um some uh fire line because I, I want a trailing hook on this one um i like using 15 or 20 pound this is uh, 15 pound um but i prefer usually i like the 20 pound fire line it just get a little stiffer and it's, it, it helps hold that tail out a bit better so and i said i forgot to put this on i like to putting it on first but i forgot not a biggie so i want that big enough easy enough to put a, a good size um trailing hook on without having to fight it so I'll just come all the way forward now I, I don't know if you guys saw but I tucked it in underneath the uh, through the eye and now I'll come in front of it here now I would have done this again before I tied on the eye, eyes and this lead would have had that done very first come back you want these make sure this is tied on really well this uh, GSPs, nano silks, any of these types of things are slippery. You don't want to get a big fish on and then it pulls out because you didn't tie in your trailing hook material properly. That's a nana. That'll get you. That'll get you calling yourself some names out in the water. Again, back through again and back over, and that'll finish off that tying in of that and 
back. Cut that off. There we go. So now back to your regular scheduled program. Put in the zone curve. So now I want to be, I know my it ends right here. So I want this the leather to be right there, a little bit longer. And I want it to there. So I want it to here, to the back side of the eyes. And the reason I want it to the back side is because I'm going to build a bit of a head collar with uh, some other stuff. So, um, and I want this long enough that I can get that hook tagged into there, right? So, so that's where that's going to be is right there, right there. So now I just got to. Put my rabbit here so I can expose the, the skin. Don't want to trap too many of these little hairs if possible. Get it wet, a little bit of saliva. I'm cranking on that, eh? So. Just make sure that's going to be long enough. Yep, that'll be long enough. It's a little short, a little longer in the front, but that's okay. I can cut that when I get to that point. Okay. Now I've got some uh, Semperfly uh, Mirror Pearl. And I'm going to grab six or eight strands. Now you don't have to use the Mirror Pearl. You can use um, uh, Flashaboo. You can use uh, a flat Flashaboo. You can use uh, um, a uh, silver or white uh, um, tinsel, whatever you feel like. In this portion, this is just going to be an a underbody. Sorry, it's going to be the underbody. Um, and then there's a going to be like a rib of the Strago chenille, ice ice straggle um, from Semperfly in pink. Um, I also tie this one in just with the with the white straggle. Depends which system I'm tying it for. Uh, there's certain systems where you want all white and other systems where you want a little bit of color. I'm tying this one for obviously a system that has some color. So that one likes the color. So now I'm just going to put in uh, the uh, lash. And I like using this stuff personally because it, uh, it, uh, it gives a different look than like a hollow tinsel or stuff, right? Because it's got all the little bumpies in the material and it just, it catches light differently right so bring that forward so that's tied in well now I'm going to cut this off but this will be long enough probably yeah it'll probably be long enough because I want to have some flash later so and then put one full turn right at the back and then I'm going to palmer it forward like a rib seeing that's a little bit of that body color underneath okay nippy nippy now I'm going to bring this forward nice and tight and then leave those hairs on. Sometimes you, you want to cut them up, but not in this case. I want to leave them on right behind that eye. Nice and tight. Again, tight. You know, it's nano silk, so it's, it'll, you, you'll have a hard time breaking it. I think I've, but I mean, that means I, I've tugged the mud uh, way more than I should have. So I'm just using my really, Small little tight little scissors. These are the Reno uh, stingers, the new ones. Just using those to get right in there to get that bulk of that in leather or whatever you want to call it off. 
Again, it really doesn't matter because it's all going to get covered in a minute. I just like doing it. Getting it all off there. And I will tie that down even better. All going to get hidden anyway. So. so now I'll take some of that. I don't know if I didn't make a mess of it. That extra flash that I had, I'll take it off of it. Two or three strands and just put it on my side. It's a couple of strands, you know, nothing much. Just a little bit of extra flash in there. Tighten that up. Cut that off. And now what I'll do is I will make I will get my wax and wax my thread here and i'm going to take some of the semperfly uh so silly legs and silver and white here's what how many do i have hopefully four or hey look at that i got four on this piece that's what i want Out the same length and I tie it just in the side. Actually, I might only put a two in this one just because of the size. One, just want to make sure it stays right on the side. That's good. And then I'm going to put one on the other side. Yeah, I could put two, more than one in, a uh, two in, but I think I'm just going to go with two. I'm going to go with two. The same length. I want it as long as the uh, as the uh, where the hook is going to be. Again, just make sure this is right along the side. Crank her down. It goes off. Now, usually I've got a little clip that I can use back here, but I've already packed it away for my trip, so I'll just try to keep that out of the way. So now I'm going to wax it again. You want to wax when you put those silly legs on. I find them pretty slippery. So now I'm going to make a nice dubbing loop here. Come back forward. I'll go to the front. Got my dubbing spinner. Now I could do two things. I could take, um, I could just use the hair that's right here, or I could use, I have another big, bigger piece here, right? So it depends. I'm going to just use the piece that I cut. So uh, it's just having to try to get it to stick out is the only tough part at times. So I just got to really tug at this to get it to stick out enough that I can. Get it into my material clip evenly. There's my brush just right there. Sometimes just brushing it out works better. So I'm just brushing it out just to get it to stick out. And then try to flatten that a bit. Grab. As much of that hair as I can, as tight to that piece of skin as I can, so with leaving room so I can put it into my loop, right? So uh, out of the skin. Out of this just a little bit so it's a little easier to grab. Yeah, so that should be okay. Put this in. I 
spin up. And another good reason to use nano silk because it's you can really spin this stuff up. It doesn't it won't break that easy. I'm just making sure nothing is caught in there. It's all sticking out nicely. Okay. One good wrap there. And then I'm going to come right in front of the eyes. Make sure it all goes back. One good wrap there. Another wrap. Making sure all of that stuff stays back, right? Then I'll have a look and see if I like it. If not, I can always hair flying around everywhere. I can always add more to the front here if I want it a little bit bulkier. So I'm kind of torn with this one because I kind of like it, but not really. And I wouldn't mind having just a tad more in there, but we'll see once I brushed it out what it looks like. It's actually not bad. I don't mind that. Could have a little tiny, tiny bit more uh, bushiness to that, but I'm going to zoom out here a bit so you can see the whole fly. Um, like I said, could add a little tiny more bushiness here, but I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to build up a bit of a head here. Could have easily added some more there, but that's okay. Everyone is a little different. Then I'll put some uh, UV resin on that, and she is a finished fly. And just like I said, you can add two silly legs if you want to each side. I do sometimes. Sometimes I don't. So, but uh, yeah, that is the finished fly. A little bit of that red sticking out. That that head will pulsate a bit. That tail will move. All that's left here is to add a hook and stab it into the uh, into the actually stab it into the into the uh, skin first backwards. So it's the Eye is facing forward, always, obviously. Um, and then, where is my? Yeah, it's down underneath here. It's right there. Um, and yeah, hook that into there, and you're done. And then the nice thing with this, the reason I like using the trailing hooks on this, first of all, it's um, it's uh, uh, it's a long piece to get a lot of false hits if you leave it like that. Uh, second of all, it's easy to th this will um, uh, ride right near the bottom. Right, so you'll get a lot of dull hooks, so you can just switch it out. Um, what I'll do now is because, like in certain places here in Alberta, I'd leave it, but in BC, as an example, I will cut off this this front hook. I'll just cut off the uh, the the hook portion of it, like up at the top, right in right in there. I'll cut that off, just so I'm not illegal, right? Because you're not allowed to. But yeah, that's it. She's a uh, not a really difficult fly. It's even easier if you got the clips. I wish I would have left one out but um but that's it that's it uh, she's a she's a fun fly like i said be, i tie it in about that big for walleye and uh for the skagit as an example i'll tie it about that big as well so it's about two inches this is about four so hope you guys enjoyed that if you did give her a thumbs up if you've subscribed awesome if you haven't please consider doing so getting close to that three thousand mark so uh once we hit that 3,000 or getting close to the 3,000, I will start a giveaway and we'll go from there. So, guidelines, everybody.